And today we'll be having a look at Mina. We'll be going for a Mina update, ecosystem update for April 2022. We'll also do a price analysis and price prediction of the token. So we've been keeping up to date with the Mina protocol token as of late. We've been keeping up to date with it and it's been good so far because it's super cheap. Right now it's $1.76. This is with a market cap of over 856 million. So this is quite significant. So yes, the price has been going down quite recently, especially within the last 30 days, but that's a good thing because it's cheaper now. Now I'm still quite bullish on Mina. I'm looking at $5, $10 in the near future. This year, realistically, we can seriously target around $5 to $6, but Mina protocol is being built out. So that's what we're gonna go through the April ecosystem updates. The great news is that over the last month, Mina ecosystem has seen more exciting updates, including a demo on the ZK bridge to Ethereum. There will be a bridge from Mina to Ethereum. That will be an MVP of Mina web node and much more. So first of all, more exchanges has continued to list Mina, including Coinbase, and this was big, and Kraken as well. Now, in efforts to ensure further decentralization of MENA protocol, the delegated committee took community feedback into consideration and shared a plan to improve the delegation program to be rolled out over the next several months. Now, additionally, the MENA community was well represented at DevConnect this past week in Amsterdam, participating in ZK Summit 7 and ETH Amsterdam Hackathon, and meeting many awesome builders at the ZK Happy Hour. The ETH Amsterdam Hackathon received 165 projects of mission, the highest ever in history of ETH Hackathon. And Mina was excited to have received nine of those submissions to further support developers that are building on Mina. Mina Foundation is awarding prizes to top four of the top teams who intercorporate who incorporated Mina into their project. We will be sharing more in last week and hackathon projects quite soon. So that's quite good. So there are new team members as well, including DM Executive Kurt Kemaker as COO, Brian McKenna as Head of Product, Dr. Irana as Head of Development Relations, and Kate Ramirez as Head of People. So those are some quick updates to go through the Mino ecosystem. So let's look at some of the applications, starting with the Oro Wallet. Aura Wallet is working on a new UI design, which will be more simple and easy to use, supporting ZK app signatures in order to support ZK apps. The functions required to support ZK apps are currently being developed. So that's quite good. Next up, we've got Mina Nodes, Mina Nodes.info. Created by community contributor and grant recipient, Whisper8145, Mina Nodes Info was created to give an approximation of Mina protocol network size to have an idea of which hosting providers are the most popular and have a visualization on map. It started as one of the time project, but the response was great on Mina Discord. So it would be fair to say the community has motivated me to learn new things and to create this project. Next up, we've got Mina Board. Mina Board is a system that allows you to track all your asset in Mina ecosystem and allows you to track all your assets in 99 different currencies developed by community members and grant recipient Essentially, after a very long week, we completed the design of the Mina board. We started coding with a user-friendly interface. Mina board has completed the infrastructure tests and being updated to add better interface. Now you can see all your wallets on a single screen and receive notifications by email or push notification. When there is activity in your wallet, you can also see more screenshot at the WIP on Discord. We were happy to see that during the test phase, 927 wallets were tracked with Mina board. 927 wallets were tracked with Mina board. That's great. And also Everstake. And that's a stake and service platform. But I'm not really going to get into that much. But for everyone who don't know what Mina is, essentially they're the lightest blockchain. Their blockchain is smaller than a tweet, a single tweet. I believe that's like 44 kilobytes or something. Powered by participants, it's elegant design. Mina is the first layer one enabling easy programmable of zero knowledge, smart contracts, ZK apps, the unique privacy and security feature, ability to connect any website via a ZK app, enables more secure and private Web3, paving a way to the democratic future we all deserve. MENA is stewarded by the MENA Foundation, a public benefit corporation headquartered in the United States. 
So that's a quick summary. Of, so that's a quick summary of things that were happening within the Mino ecosystem in the month of April. Big things, but big things, but bigger things are coming in the month of May and June, because obviously they're working on the bridge, the ZK bridge to Ethereum, and this is huge. What that means for Mino is that there'll be more development. DApps that are developed on Ethereum will easily be integrated into Mino ecosystem because there will be a bridge, which means that Mino blockchain could become vastly more valuable later this year because they're expanding their network, they're expanding their blockchain, mostly into DApp development. And the last time I checked, some of the biggest applications right now, such as Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, Terra, they're all DApp building platform. They focus on DApp applications. This is huge, especially for Mina. And not to mention Avalanche is incredibly cheap right now at $48 per coin. That's incredible. So yes, while the price isn't doing particularly well right now, I believe that's a good thing because that just means that it's cheap. Once again, we will see Mina quickly jump above $2, $3 and $4 once again later this year, but ideally we're aiming for $5 and possibly even $6, $7 before the end of this year. And if the ZK bridge to Ethereum goes incredibly well, we're probably looking at $10 for Mina protocol this year. Long term, that's what I'm aiming for. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Hope you hope you find these updates helpful. Subscribe and I will see you in my next video.